A big fat caterpillar spins a cocoon, turns into a moth, and flies by the moon to meet another moth. And then one day, there's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. It all begins with a little bitty dot, but look a little closer and see what you got. There's a little bitty egg with a big surprise, a little bitty caterpillar tucked inside. The eggs all hatch, and what do you know? The little bitty caterpillars grow and grow. They eat and eat until pretty soon they all stop eating and spin a cocoon. A big fat caterpillar spins a cocoon, turns into a moth, and flies by the moon to meet another moth. And then one day there's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. There's a cozy little bed inside their cocoon. Now they're falling asleep and it's not too soon. Just before changing to the pupa form, sleeping through the winter until it's warm. Then they all wake up and what do you know? Cocoons hatch open and out they go. Drying out their wings and waiting all day. When the sun goes down, they're flying away. A big fat caterpillar spins a cocoon, turns into a moth and flies by the moon to meet another moth. And then one day there's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. A moth and butterfly can look the same Both have pretty colors and a fancy name But one makes a chrysalis and one a cocoon Flying by the sun or the light of the moon The little bitty caterpillars grow and grow They eat and eat and before you know They sleep all winter until the spring Butterfly or moth taken off again Caterpillar spins a cocoon, turns into a moth, and flies by the moon to meet another moth. And then one day, there's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. There's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. There's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. Okay, so today we're going to take this sleeve off and the caterpillars have eaten almost all the leaves on this on this branch so this protective sleeve covering the branch will come off and I'll clip all the caterpillars right off their eaten leaf branches and put them in a box put the sleeve on a new set of branches and then transfer the caterpillars. Here you can see the box of caterpillars all clipped from the previous sleeve, ready to go into the new caterpillar sleeve with fresh greens. Now with my box of caterpillars, I'll be placing these caterpillars from the old sleeve into the fresh green sleeve here. probably have at least a hundred Cecropias here. You're not supposed to pull them off a leaf, but sometimes they're not holding on that tight. If you pull them off a leaf or a branch, it can tear their little hind legs and then they can't molt again and die. So we always try to clip the branch or leaf that they're on and handle the leaf or the branch with them on it. So now that all the caterpillars are inside the new sleeve, I just tie it off very well at the end. I double loop around it because spiders and all kinds of predators like to try to get in here 
and they even try to sting them right through the netting. So I try to make a really good tight knot to complete the job. And then in a few days, they'll eat quite a bit and I will move them to a fresh branch. And we're done. If you have very few caterpillars, it is possible to raise them in a closed container. Here I have a few of the Io moth caterpillar, known as Automeris Io. It's in the Saturniidae family, Saturniidae, it's hard to say. And it's one of the few that if you touch the spines, it's the equivalent of a bad bee sting. So I'll wear gloves while transferring them to fresh greens in a new container. If it's possible to see, I've got a great big IO caterpillar right here. I'll put him in there in his new greens. There is a second one in here. I'll look for him. Here he is. He's not as quite as big, but he looks healthy. him in there. Now if you live in a humid area, you want to have a window cut out on your box and put some hardware cloth or just screen and put it in place so there's not too much humidity buildup. But here in the desert southwest where it's so dry, I find that I don't really need to have uh, the open window and I can get away with a few holes and it doesn't get too humid. So now I'll put them back inside and in a day or so I'll change them again. Big fat caterpillar spins a cocoon, turns into a moth and flies by the moon to meet another moth and then one day there's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. There's a lot of little baby caterpillars on the way. 